Hey, what's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day. I know I'm having a great day. I want to thank all my new subscribers and anyone else who happens to come across this video and is just watching and enjoying. You don't have to subscribe, but hey, if you took the time to watch it, cool. Uh, so today, I'm going to give you something extremely helpful when it comes to aquascaping. I'm going to give you the five things I wish I knew before I started following large aquascaping YouTubers and taking their advice. Because there is a lot of incorrect information coming from aquascapers who have hundreds of thousands of subscribers. And they got that way. And I'm going to tell you because there was a little bit of cheating going on. And uh, I had to write everything down because it was massive. I did a lot of research. I did research in general on how people grow their channels who just have mumbo-jumbo videos and and then what rules are uh, affiliated with YouTube, what you are allowed to do and what you can't do and how people find loopholes to get their videos out there and suggested to others uh, who might not even care about that, that particular, um, you know, topic. So the five things that I wish I knew about huge aquascaping YouTubers are as follows. The first thing I want to point out is going to be right down here to the left. You'll see a little arrow pointing down. P poke on that. That's the description. So this is number one. I want you to look in the description whenever you're following someone. In that description, is it an actual description of the video that they're talking about? Or is it a bunch of a random affiliate links to a bunch of products? I mean, um, I'm gonna put some pictures up in, up in here to show you, but if you look in the description and all you see are dozens and dozens of links to a bunch of random products, that is because all of those companies they are associated with to suggest these types of things to you to make commission off of those products. They may or may not even actually believe in it. They're saying, hey, use this. And they're like, see, I'm using it. As soon as they turn the video off, they take it off and they put what they know actually works. Okay, so look in the description and see if they're actually selling you something or actually describing a helpful tip to you in the description. Now, if you scroll down a little bit farther in the description, you'll get to where this is number two. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit farther, you'll see their tags. Now, there is a huge rule that gets broken on YouTube all the time uh, by uh, huge YouTubers and other aquascapers who are, I'm sorry, are just dumb and don't read the uh, rules when it comes to having a YouTube channel. And the biggest one that I notice that all of them break that will eventually get their channel shut down. Some of them get to 100,000 subscribers before YouTube notices it, but they got millions of videos to go through. Okay, so it takes some time. Scroll down to their tags. Okay, in their tags, you're only allowed to tag something that you're actually talking about. So like if I'm talking about driftwood, I can tag driftwood. So that means if someone is curious about driftwood, my video would be suggested. You know, so they can see, hey, okay, this guy's talking about driftwood and how to plant stuff to it. Now, if you look in their tags and you see a hundred, hundreds of words, just a bunch of random words with commas between each one, and none of, none of them are relevant to anything that they're saying, they're doing that because they want their video to pop up on everyone's feed. So if you're looking through there and their entire video is they're just talking about Tetra fish, but then you start seeing comma shoes, uh, comma tank, comma, uh, you know, hat, comma, uh, Walmart, comma, you know, you, you see where I'm getting at? Just a bunch of random stuff. So you'll, you'll see a bunch of commas and hundreds of words that have nothing to do with anything even if they're not, you know, especially if they're not talking about it. That is a huge rule. You scroll down to their tags and you see 
hundreds and hundreds of all these random words, they force their video on you to, to watch them. Okay? Uh, now, number three. When they are suggesting a product, is it something that they actually believe in? Or is it because they are sponsored by them and they're selling it to you? Well, you'll know they're selling it to you because you'll see a link to it in the description along with everything else. I'm not trying to sell anything. This is a free donation of my time. All right. Uh, and then, number four, are they actually giving you helpful information or being extremely vague? You know, are they, are they truly explaining or are they just showing you and saying, hey, this plant does good or hey, these fish do good, good, great. Why? Why are they doing good? What exactly did you do to make sure that those are doing good? So think about that also. Um, and finally, do they know anything about water? Scroll through their videos. Do you see any of them actually talk about water besides your basic parameters? Those parameters on test strips and API master test strips, they don't test everything. They test general hardness, they test carbon hardness, they test nitrites, nitrates, they, they can test ammonia and chlorine. That is not everything that is in your water, okay? Um, I am not trying to make money off of YouTube. If I wanted to, I could go in and tag the heck out of everything, everything imaginable. I mean, I could tag hair. So if someone's just looking at videos for hair, all of a sudden they're watching a video about aquascaping and they're like why the heck was this video randomly suggested to me well because I tagged hair all right so think about these things um, I'm not trying to make money and there's a huge reason one I'm truly passionate about this this hobby saved my life okay I was in a dark place at one point and I needed something that would give me what I felt was more purpose than just being, I don't want to turn it into a sad story, but there is a reason that I, I, I can't do anything else and I got to stay in my house. All right, but I'm not going to get into that. But I'm not trying to make money. I'm passionate and I really want the beginners to succeed when it comes to aquascaping. It's so easy to quit when you're following all these people who have thousands of subscribers who aren't actually helping you at all. Okay? I, and I, I followed and done and just kind of vaguely did what they did. And I'm like, why isn't it working? Why are their tanks so awesome? You know, some of them have no idea why it's awesome. I, and I'm not going to um, put anyone on blast. But there was one aquascaper during an interview who's been doing it for years. And during an interview, when asked where his water source was coming from and what's in his water, he literally didn't know. So the interviewer actually tested his water and found out that it was spring fed. This man had no idea that his, all of his tanks were so successful because he was getting the purest water on the planet. Now that is possible. There are places in the United States and across the globe where people have natural uh, water sources that don't need to go through softeners or don't come from well water and all of that. And that's because the water were it's coming from out of the ground is actually nutrient rich and good for you. Okay. It's not like city water or it didn't come out of a water tower that's loaded with rust and copper amongst other things. Okay. And water is a huge factor. I mean, I, I mean, for me, it is the number one. Um, I mean, you can grow a lot of things in crappy water, but I mean, seriously, with just a few small things that you change with water, then you can literally grow anything. Now, I'm going to give you, I unfollowed a lot of people. I did a lot of research. I unfollowed a lot of uh, aquascapers because like you in the beginning, I was literally YouTubing and Googling and, get, and randomly following all of these massive YouTubers that have thousands and thousands of subscribers. And in my mind, I'm like, oh, well, they have 100,000 subscribers because this guy obviously knows what he's doing. No, he's trying to make money. I'm not trying to make money. Okay. Uh, so people who, uh, people who give you honest answers 
and will only sponsor themselves if you do see a link and 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 admit up front hey i sell fish so yeah if you see a link in here about guppies because i sell guppies you know but anyway the secret history living in your aquarium this man knows what he's talking about never ever does he try to sell anything i mean he knows the science behind every plant every shrimp every fish even in his own backyard, he makes videos walking to a random creek and teaching you about the stuff that's living in that creek and why it can live in that creek. Okay, um, great guy. Okay, and he's worked really hard to get to 20,000 subscribers. Many, 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 many years. Okay, it didn't happen overnight. People started following him because they started realizing he was giving actual helpful information. Okay, now his stuff is more on a scientific le level. He is teaching you, you know... Um, the um, actual, you know, science behind everything, the, the plants in general, it doesn't necessarily even have to be living in your tank, but, you know, it, it's still helpful stuff. Uh, another helpful YouTuber uh, is called The Water Box. They will give you suggestions. Uh, he, he will uh, give you suggestions that he truly believes in. Um, and you'll see that in their description. Uh, number three. H2O plants. This guy doesn't make videos anymore. Um, he used to sell plants, but his knowledge about uh, aquatic plants is impeccable. I learned a lot from him. Um, and, uh, you know, even though his videos are many, many years old, I'll still, you know, when I was learning, I, I would learn a lot of stuff from there, you know, besides Googling and reading and double checking and making sure people's information was correct because I started realizing when things weren't going well, that somebody gave me somewhere gave me incorrect information and the majority of the time it's the big guys all right the last person i will suggest is or youtube channel is everyday fish keeping genuine youtuber who wants to help okay so those are my suggestions and um uh yeah i uh i did some heavy digging to find this stuff out so uh anyway uh, I appreciate, you know, everyone, you know, I don't have that many subscribers because I'm not abusing YouTube to try to get everyone in here. There's And there's another thing, you know, if at some point I get a thousand subscribers, I have to shut my channel down because I cannot make money on this channel. Uh, there, there, there's some reasons behind it, but I don't want to either. I want to give information to people who are starting, who are failing, because people quit all the time. They start, their plant dies, they don't know why. They spend a bunch of money on it, and they're like, I don't know what to do. Uh, for whatever reason, these people can do it. I, I can't. I suck. You know, I, you, you ever hear about how people uh, uh, make a crack a lot of jokes about how they can't keep houseplants alive? They can't keep houseplants alive for the same reason you people can't keep your plants alive in your aquarium because you're watering their plants with softener. Plants hate all that salt. I mean, some will be... some. Very few plants will handle it, but you hear people being like, man, I can't even keep a, a English ivy alive in, in, in my living room. Well, because you've been watering it with your tap water. Your tap water is crap. The majority of America are tap water is crap. Okay? So, anyway, keep all those things in mind. Um, I, I'll, I'll post this up soon. Uh, not today, but... So, besides just talking truthness about YouTubers. Look at what I'm excited about. Look at this tank. Yeah. Look, right here. Uh, it has the filtration system that goes through here that overflows into where... Sorry, it's hard for me to... Hard for me to see. Then overflows into where the heater is and then to where the pump is. So everything is hidden and then comes into here with my light. I want it. It wasn't given uh, to me. I, I want it in a drawing. Um, there's a local guy I go to now. I quit ordering plants online, and that'll be a whole other video. But the guy I go to uh, at, here in Minnesota, is, it's uh, the business called Joe's Shrimp Shack. And no, I'm not trying to sell you something from him. He's a great guy. Okay, uh, He does like drawings every now and again. And I happened to show up on a day. I didn't even know he was doing a, you know, a raffle. And I filled it out. You know, I bought some shrimp or whatever and I filled it out and I put it in there and then and the next day he happened to draw my name in and I want to take and it's awesome and that's what I'm going to be doing today so 
I know this video is long. I know a lot of my videos are long, but there, there, there's reason. If you're running through aquascaping videos and you're trying to get a quick rundown on something off of a two-minute video, you're not getting all the information you need. All of my videos are 10 minutes or longer, okay? And that's because it takes some time to explain stuff, and you know? And, um, yeah, my personality can sometimes be a bit awkward and I lose thought. I started training myself by writing stuff down. That kind of helps. But, you know, besides that, so what? You know, I might not be the most entertaining person that you're going to find on YouTube, uh, you know, talking about aquascaping, but we're talking about aquascaping. We're not here to be cracking jokes or trying to sell you stuff. I want, I want everyone who is actually here to keep up with the hobby because this is the hobby that saved my life, and I love it. And I care about animals. I care about the fish. I care about the shrimp. I care about everything that ends up in this house and my dog. And I want them to have the best life. And if I make a mistake, I find out what it is. And I make up for it by never repeating it again. Okay? So, thanks again for watching. And I really appreciate it. All new subscribers. I hope you have a fantastic day. And like always, I'm going to tell you, if you're not having a good day, get off your butt and do something about it. You're sitting there on the couch all day doing nothing. You're going to go into a deep hole of depression, sadness, resentments over something that happened 30 years ago that nobody cares about, all kinds of stuff. Trust me, I know. I've been in that dark place. Don't go there. You know. And if it's not aquascaping, find something else. But maybe you found this video or you found other ones and you're interested. Follow mine from the very beginning and I'll guide you through the whole thing and give you proper information as to what actually worked and what didn't work. Thanks again. Have a fantastic day.